supposed to have only potential energy. Potential energy is energy stored and available to be used later. It has potential to move, but is still. Therefore, the roller coaster has 100% potential energy and 0% kinetic energy. At this point, the roller coaster has only kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy an object has because it's in motion. The object is moving at full speed, and therefore the roller, co the roller coaster has 100% kinetic and 0% potential. So the more kinetic energy an object has, the less potential energy it has, and vice versa. For extra information, the equation for calculating the amount of kinetic energy an object has is amount of kinetic energy an object has equals mass of the object times the velocity of the object squared divided by 2. The law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed or transferred. This leads us to the six main indestructible types of energy. Chemical, electrical, mechanical, nuclear, radiant, and thermal energy. The first of the main six types of energy is chemical energy. It is the energy that is found in the bonds of molecules or compounds. Some examples of chemical energy include car gasoline, natural gas, food, or coal. The second type of energy is electrical energy. It is the energy that flows through a conductor. A cell phone, and char a cell phone charging and electrical stoves are examples of electrical energy. Mechanical energy is the third type of energy an object can possess. Mechanical energy is the energy an object has because of its motion. Some examples of mechanical energy are rolling objects or substances, a wind turbine, or as we mentioned above, a roller coaster. Radiant energy is the fourth main type of energy an object can possess. It is the energy due to the movement of light. Energy released from the sun is an example of radiant energy. The fifth type of energy is the energy that is released when nuclear fission or nuclear fusion occurs, or nuclear energy. Last but certainly not least is the final type of energy, thermal energy. This is energy released from the vibrating of vibration of molecules. Examples of thermal energy include heating or cooling an object. So how can we get energy, you ask? It's everywhere in the world, waiting to be honest or used to benefit our everyday lives. <laughs>